missing it probably. Yep. Um, it's uh, in Holland. Do you know what's really this? It makes me smile because in France, for instance, there's over 400 sorts of cheese in France. 400. In um, England, uh, we have at least 200 types of cheese, but they think it's 600 sorts of cheese in England, more than France. And yet, our cheese in this country is in the top 10 of the world's cheeses, the top 10, which is the highest of the high. And we do make really, really good, uh, good cheese. We really do. The cheese that's the most popular, the, the, the bee's knees of cheese, I call it, is this one here. It's a Gouda cheese. In Holland, we say Gouda. The cheese has been around. It's one of the oldest types of cheese known to man that is still in production today. So one of the oldest. And we know that it was mentioned in 1182 because it was in the city of Gouda. They were allowed, and this is such a funny thing, I do love these old-fashioned laws. They were the only place in the whole country which was allowed, had the, the privilege of selling cheese at the market. No. I know, it does sound really bizarre. And I've got, so the whole, and in those days, Belgium and Holland was one country. And I've got this amazing image of a man getting on his horse and he's saying to his wife, darling, I will be going to buy the cheese for now. I will see you in three weeks' time. <laughs> of course, people made their own, and that's why it was never written about. It was always um, uh, done but not talked about, not written down. So that, that piece of paper is amazing. We can date it to then. Um, the way of making cheese has not changed at all from that time until this time. The way we make it is exactly... We do have electricity. That's about the only difference, really. Um, and with the aid of electricity, it makes our lives a lot easier. But the way to make them, these traditional cheeses in Holland, we call this boerkaas. That means a farmer's cheese. And a farmer's cheese traditionally is always made without um, um, pasteurization. Mm -hmm. They didn't know about that in the Middle Ages. Pasteurization means that the milk is boiled. They just warmed it up because you need to have it a little bit warm uh, to uh, make everything work properly. So what we do, and we're still doing exactly the same today, we, we warm up the milk until uh, 29 degrees. And then we add in this liquid, traditional enzyme. This makes the milk go thick, it sets. And once it's set, we start cutting it with the knives, as you see over there. And um, after 20 minutes, it separates into uh, curds and whey. This is the solid part and the water part. Now this is what we make the cheese from, is the solid part, the curds, which is 10% of the whole milk. So 90%, we don't need it. Uh, but it's incredibly full of protein. In the olden days, the little cows got the benefit of this. Nowadays, we just take it away and sell it. It's uh, very mean. We're horrible now. We do still have lovely cows. But anyway, 